Okay, Alex, thanks for joining us. Um, plenty to talk about. Let's start with the team's recent revival in fortunes. Um, you must be delighted to see all the hard work paying off um, off the pitch, on the pitch, over the past 18 months or so. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a, certainly been a challenge for the last 18 months. We, we've we made some fantastic progress off of the field and many of our commercial activities and the stadium regeneration. And, and obviously the missing piece for us was always going to be the on the field piece. Um, but Revs has worked very hard, um, you know, particularly his management team with Mark and um, Dean Wilkins to, to, to really try and turn around performances on the pitch. And I think it'd be fair to say that since the turn of the year, they've done a fantastic job, really. And we're on a, an upward trajectory and hopefully we'll be able to move that forward into the next few weeks and months of the season and, and finish in a, in a reasonably attractive position. Yeah, it's been tough for a number of reasons, none more so than the inability to get supporters into the ground. Um, how is the club doing financially and how have yourself and others managed to sort of navigate the club throughout this time? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a strange one really. I think when you look around the country, football's probably one of the only businesses where you can you can operate, but actually you're almost limited in the income streams you can bring in. So, I mean, obviously the academy's been closed at Shepelbury, uh, all of our conference banqueting, match days, crowds, etc. So it's been a real struggle for us. We've had to really put focus on maybe some of the more untraditional areas. So retail has been a big focus for us, esports, um, obviously some of the other ventures we've had in place as well around probably the digital revenue streams have been really important. And, um, you know, we just had to be creative. Equally, we've had to be very savvy in how we've operated. We've had to utilize furlough. We've had to, um, you know, look at cut custom across the uh, club as best as we can and, and really operate it on a, you know, day-to-day -day, um, hand-to-mouth basis. But it's been important for yourself and others to retain jobs, hasn't it, and to keep the people employed? Yeah, we've we've said from day one it was always about job retention. We've got some fantastic staff here, and you know we've we've missed them, you know, immensely over the last kind of year. But for us, it's been about really sort of mothballing the club and making sure that when we come out the other side, everybody's still here. We've still got people employed in the roles they're in beforehand, and we've still got a football club that we can, um, you know, take that cover off and, and roll out into a new future, really. Um, one such way that the club will be hoping to raise funds is through the Stadium Series Festival, which will be taking place in a couple of months. Um, what can you tell us about that and why should supporters and even non-supporters be excited? Yeah, so this is probably it's a le legacy really of the boxing we had in 2019. We were always really keen to make the stadium a community you know, community venue that was used not just when football was on on Saturday, be that through conference of banqueting or be that through some of the foundations programmes, but particularly we wanted to make use of it in the off season. Um, the boxing was a great success and, and we were out the blocks fairly early after the boxing to secure a, a concert. Uh, unfortunately due to COVID that didn't take place last year, but we were speaking to um, New Future, who were the guys responsible for We Are Festival over in Upminster. And, um, it's a really exciting venture, not just for the football club, but probably for the, the entire music industry in whole. There'll be a lot of people watching us. Um, it's going to be a socially distanced style event. So there'll be in excess of 200 picnic benches on the pitch, bubbles of six with table service for food and drink, um, and quite a diverse array of uh, dance and DJs on show for 14 events. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Great challenge for us, something to get all the staff reinvigorated when they come back off the back of furlough. And, you know, it, it puts the football club back on the map. It puts the town back on the map. Um, you know, it probably gives us a great platform to move forward into next season from. Yeah, finally, um, what are you hoping for the rest of the season and beyond? And is there anything else that supporters should be aware of or looking forward to at this time? Yeah, I think the first one is probably over five or six wins. That's that's the key one. We'd like to get over that mark and, and probably just relax a little bit. But I think we've got a few things going on. We've got um, asymptomatic COVID testing taking place here on Sunday. Um, we're in negotiations with the council about bringing another testing site on. Um, we've got a few interesting uh, projects going on the foundation. So there are things happening. I'm sure like the rest of the world, um, as we get closer to lockdown easing, there'll be lots of exciting announcements. I know the shareholders this week have just had a survey around kits for next season. Um, hopefully we'll be able to provide some updates, hopefully as we edge towards Easter around season tickets for next season and how we'll be approaching that. So all in all, you know, the message of the supporters is to, to keep supporting as best as we can. You know, we appreciate it's very difficult at the moment, um, you know, to engage with everybody, but hopefully the finish line is in sight and next season could be a really interesting one for us. Yeah, it's something that even just talking about it now just gets you feeling excited, the thought of having the full season with supporters back in the ground and that match day buzz because it is different this year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, um, it's a very sterile environment. It's, it's not football as we know it. And funny enough, it's probably the little things, you know, we've missed some of the volunteers on a match day just saying hello to them. We've missed some of the characters in and around the stadium coming through the turnstiles. And yeah, hopefully we're not that far away now and we've got a football club for everyone to return to. And um, as I said, next year could be a really interesting one for us. 
And even if there is to have to be some sort of distancing or whatever, the club's putting a lot of work already, hasn't it? Expecting supporters to have already been in the ground by now. Yeah, it's always a moving beast. And as you can appreciate, the, the goalposts change on a weekly basis at the minute. So we probably can't diverge too much into what the stadium may look like when people return for next season. But um, look, our main thing is it's a safe environment. We've had a test event, which was back in December now. We've, we've got some learning points from that that we'll seek to learn and develop from. But um, all in all, you know, look, hopefully come six months time we'll be ready to go and we'll have a crowd in and um, and a, a new future at the club in terms of on and off the field all right thank you very much cheers dan